Old Testament survey. Before we can fully grasp the New Testament, we need to first take a look at the Old Testament. And here's why. You ever heard of homonyms? Pair? Can I have a pair of shoes? Can I have a pair? They sound the same, but they're totally different meanings. And that's what we get from the New Testament. We don't fully understand the meaning of the word unless we have context clues or context, which is background information. And that's how we should look at Scripture. The New Testament is sort of the forefront of it. It's the focal point. But in order to understand the focal point, we need to understand the context, the surrounding environment. And the Old Testament provides that. Since the beginning of creation, which the Bible describes, man has been warring against truth. What is truth? And everyone's right and wrong is different. Well, scripturally, it tells us that it is truth. And that there's right and there's wrong. And there's a God who created all things and all things flow from him. So, God gave man life. Man disobeyed. And from the first covenant that God made with man through a man named Abraham, he says, if you can walk righteously, if you can live good lives and obey my commands, then I'll bless you. But the problem with man is he can't do it. None of us can. We can't even live up to one expectation that God has for us. So we're all kind of screwed in getting any blessings or feeling good about anything. So, God makes a covenant with this man named Abraham. And he says, anyone who believes in the promise that I have for them, they will be set free from this law. And they will inherit the promises and the blessings that, that they weren't able to fulfill. Or able to accomplish by themselves. Now, the whole Old Testament is foreshadowing Jesus. It's a shadow of things to come. If Jesus is the light or the person, the shadow of the whole Old Testament is Jesus' characteristics. Not the bad parts, but the good. And that shows in the midst of God's working and woven throughout time. So he sets up man with this thing called the Torah. The five books of Moses, which is 600 and something laws, and we can't obey one. The Old Testament is to show our depravity of what man is like, what people are like without God. And the rule shows us how sinful we are. Not that we can fix it, but that we need a Savior. So when we understand this, we get to understand more about the New Testament. When we see Jesus, we get to understand who God is what he's like, and what truth actually looks like. Many prophets, many kings have tried to live their life holy and unblemished and in the right workings, living their life according to God's purpose, and some have succeeded by his spirit. Most have not, and I mean most. Even today we struggle. So we must first understand who God is, is this true? And we can look at the Bible as being the only source of information. Over the course of 1,500 years, no other book has been written that long with 40 different authors who most of them have probably never met each other. Most of them have never met each other. Not to mention that they were written by different people with di different occupations. Some were kings. Some were slaves and servants, and some were even prostitutes and murderers. And none of them, out of all this time, contradict each other. It's quite amazing. The Bible describes many unique aspects of God having a role in humanity as he still had then, as he still has now. So, what does that mean to you? Well, it means this. If you believe this true and all the evidence points towards this Bible as being true, the Bible has the most evidence uh, over anything that you can find evidence to 
even creation, even everything, pointing towards the, the, the facts that Jesus was a real person, these kings existed, these nations existed, these places exist. No other book or religion uh, can prove that. It is also the only religion that stretches far furthest back in time as far as the Jewish culture is um, concerned or any culture. No other culture has sacred text or the Greeks don't have it. The Romans, the Romans don't, didn't have anything. And there's nothing that dates further back than these writings, which are called the Dead Sea Scrolls. So it's quite amazing when we get to really peel back the layer behind the New Testament and how it all came about, you know, all the different translations that we have. And this helps us not to only understand more foundational aspects of our faith, but it helps us to understand who our God is and what he's like and why we're here. And if this message is true, which I hope if you're watching, you believe it, then that means that you and I have the responsibility not only to tell people who God is, but to tell them what he's like and to bring salvation to the people of today. Thank you for watching. God bless.